Mr. Speaker, the NDP government, in its endless pursuit of tax grabs, uh, is making liquor vastly more available across the province, yet is not making it easier for Manitobans to get help for addictions. According to the Canadian Centre on Substance Abuse, about 30,700 Manitobans are addicted to alcohol and in need of help. But there are limited public services available, and there are only two detox centres in Manitoba. The burden of alcoholism has fallen to our hospital emergency rooms and our justice system. I ask the Premier how many government-funded detox beds are available in Manitoba and how many more beds is the government planning to make available this year? Uh, I thank the, the leader of the Liberal Party for the question. It is important that we provide addiction services, and we have dramatically expanded the amount of services for addiction treatment in the province from 14.4 million in 1999 to 38.7 million as of this budget this year, Mr. Speaker. And I can only say to the leader of the Liberal Party, uh, tomorrow there will be another announcement of an expanded treatment for people in detox centres in Manitoba. There will be a very specific announcement that meets a very pressing need in one of Manitoba's uh, leading communities. And uh, I hope that he pays attention tomorrow because it will be, again, another example of how we continue to invest in looking after people that face these serious addiction problems. Mr. Speaker, uh, as we know, the government is so desperate for revenue that it's become yeah. extremely aggressive in promoting alcohol consumption, yet slow to provide help to addicts. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, the only two government-funded detox programs available in Manitoba are in Winnipeg. The Main Street Project with 25 beds, uh, 11 at the Health Sciences Centre, on many occasions. And uh, very forcefully, of course, last November, Thompson Mayor Tim Johnston publicly called on the NDP to build Thompson's first desperately needed detox centre. But the NDP so far has ignored him. I ask the Premier, when will the NDP provide the funding required for the desperately needed detox centre in Thompson? I, I thank the member for the question. Uh, the uh, local MLA and the Minister of Infrastructure and I were in Thompson recently. We met with City Council. We met with the Mayor. Uh, we gave the message to the Mayor that it proceed uh, on the detox centre. And I think if the member will just be very patient, he will find that before the weekend arrives, that there will be a very significant announcement with respect to detox services in the City of Thompson, Mr. Speaker. But I want to say this. We tabled legislation yesterday that improves social responsibility with respect to liquor in Manitoba. There is training programs now for all servers on responsible serving. There is new provisions in that legislation which makes facilities responsible for the behaviour not just inside the facility but around the facility. There is provisions in that legislation which stops booze cans in Manitoba. There are provisions in that legislation which allows us to deal with online sales and super juice in Manitoba. There are provisions in that legislation that will put a stop to underage drinking, Mr. Speaker. We will take our social responsibility Order, serious. Minister, this time has expired. Mr. Speaker, uh, I, I look forward uh, uh, with enthusiasm if the government is finally, after many, many years, yep. going to act in Thompson. You know, but the other question here is that detox centres are only the first step. When Manitobans so addicted to alcohol can finally access the scarcely available government-funded detox beds, there is still up to several months' waiting list to enter a residential exactly. treatment program, and of course they are expected exactly. to remain sober on their own for up to a week before admission. I ask the Premier. There? Uh, did the Minister of Health and the Minister of Healthy Living try to stop him from making alcohol more available to Manitobans when the social and health costs of alcohol are so high? Mr. Speaker, uh, if he does a careful read of the legislation, he will find some very strong social prevention measures within the new liquor and lotteries legislation. But I have to say to him, he's saying that the detox centre is just the beginning. That's one of the last places we want to see any Manitoba wind up, Mr. Speaker, which is why when we invest in schools, we have tools in schools now to train young people on how to manage those kinds of issues, whether it's routes to empathy, whether it's the PACS program. We want to equip young people and indeed all Manitobans on how to manage these many threats and challenges that we have in a so-called free society that we live in. 
and people are exposed to this kind of uh, opportunity all the time. We want them to be able to make responsible choices, which is why we are making continuing investments in our education system, which is why we've doubled our money for addictions treatment, which is why we will have another detox centre announcement before the long weekend occurs, Mr. Speaker, and which is why we're saying people that provide alcohol in Manitoba have a responsibility to serve it in such a way that nobody gets unduly intoxicated or inebriated in the province.